Hello, this is Ritesh. Welcome everyone to Dancing with Data. So I'm Ritesh, two-time Tableau ambassador and one-time Power BI super user. And this is my website, Dancing with Data. If you're interested to see more of my blogs, you can please visit my website. If you like my videos, do hit the like button. And if it is useful, then share it with others. If you have not subscribed, what's, what are you waiting for? If you like my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Today, I'm going to discuss about one of the most useful features that you can see with the latest 2020.3 version that is dynamic zone visibility so as you can see uh, there we are uh, selecting parameter and you can see the changes over there at the visual before talking more about this let me take you to the history we already have that show height feature with tableau so i have one video on toggle button so with that toggle button if you click on that with this, within the same space you can have two views over there so a feature similar to the one that i will tell you is already there but this is static and what you have now is quite dynamic okay so what i mean by the way i'll keep my toggle video uh, button at the description uh, itself so you, if you are not aware about that feature you can go although there is no relationship you can learn this from the scratch with this video only so the new feature 2020.3 uh, is it's one step ahead it's dynamic that means if i click or maybe I, I, I can put that at the presentation mode if I click on that you can see I can see subcategories over there right and if I click on office supply I see the respective subcategories over there or maybe if I can just not maximize it so that so that you can see or I can just show you yeah the technology if you can see technology I'll, I'll put off my cam when I will uh, make this one but I'm just showing you the preview part over here okay so that's what if you see so if i click on furniture again it takes the whole space over there so it's much more dynamic it used to be earlier you had limited option with show height button so it it has opened a lot of opportunities for you so how do we create this uh, from the scratch so let me put off my cam over there and we'll do it uh, with tableau if you have sample superstore with you you can do along with me because there are a few steps to follow in a particular sequence okay so everyone so we have a plan to create like this which will be dynamic enough if you see so if i click on a particular category of furniture so i can see the corresponding subcategories within that furniture uh, so forth and so on for office supplies and technology as well so if you see this is a bit different from the uh, the toggle button option that you have which is uh, a bit static but this is dynamic right if you click on office supply use the office supply furniture furniture if you click on furniture again it takes the whole space over there so come on let us together try to do this one and let us do it from the scratch so first of all we need to create a, a parameter over there and the parameter type should be of uh, boolean so let's create a parameter remember the type of this parameter should be boolean right so that's it and uh, and let's give it a name as height zone uh, with parameter height zone with parameter right so that's that would be your first step now second step is to create a calculated field a simple calculated field and it says true right that's it and the name of this calculation field say calculation for dynamic zone so i'll say Kelsey for dynamic zone and that's it apply and okay so these are the first two steps and remember that for your dynamic zone visibility the field or parameter must be boolean single value independent of this means field re returns a constant value independent of the structure of this it should not be dynamic so we are good with our parameter so remember this important step where we need to bring this calculation that we have done uh, two details over there right so you have to go to sales by category and this calculation should be there at detail and shortly you will get to know why now the next two steps would be create a dashboard and drag the sheet that you always want to be visible on the dashboard so let's do it here we create a new dashboard and we want this one because we want this to be visible all the time and before doing this one right i would suggest you to drag that step is not there maybe you can get this step from my video so we are first putting the horizontal layout and after that only we are dragging this sheet okay then fair enough 
and now we are going to create this parameter action remember i am not doing it from the worksheet menu i am doing it from the dashboard itself uh, i think that would be better since i am making use of the horizontal layout as well okay let's go and create a parameter action over there so i am here i go to dashboard and i say action uh, okay let me wait okay this this sheet there is no action so i'll create an action change parameter and says by category target parameter would be this one uh, source field is this one and clearing the selection will set the value to false over there let me give it a, uh, this another name as parameter action and here we are so let's move on from this position so once you have created the parameter action the next step is to drag so we have to drag the other worksheet now and since we are in the horizontal layout so we need to take care of the way we will drag it so until and unless you see this dark blue border over there don't so we are good now we have to click on this sheet and make some changes over there at the layout so this is the new option that you have got with the new version of tableau so i click on that control visibility using value of what parameter hide zone with parameter so that you need to select now after this selection now you'll see the magic now you can come back to with this ensure that after coming to this sheet you have selected use as filter the sales by subcategory now if you click on technology you see the corresponding uh, subcategories over there so forth and so on but what if i just click on furniture again then what will happen it will take the whole space if i click on office supply it takes it, it will show you the office supply subcategories over there if i click on technology it shows you technology if you click on technology again it takes the whole space so that's a cool feature that you have a tableau now with the help of which you can act with action in the most dynamic way so that's the way we have configured this dynamic dashboard zone i hope this session was useful this blog will be there at the uh, description as well. But remember, there are there are a few different steps over there that we have taken. So I'll make those changes and put it at the uh, description. At the end, I would only say if this video was useful, then just go ahead and click on the subscription button because Josoya Okoya. Bye bye. This is Ritesh signing off from Dancing with Data. Bye bye.